Girls, hi, this is Jenny with Planner Perfect. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about bullet journaling in um, our new journals. And mine is already set up for May and I can't wait to show you. Stay tuned. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. Listen, this video is going to be so fun because this for May, we just all are receiving our sub boxes now. If you're new to me, welcome. If you want to know more about how you can get in on a subscription box that gives you everything you need to be able to plan your life um, with intention and write a better story, you can click up here and um, check those out. We offer a variety of different subscription boxes so that you they hit your door right in time to plan a new month. Nothing beats just getting new, just a fresh, you just, everything is just fresh, you know, just like everything's fresh. It's kind of like what, like you don't like to wear the same shoes every day. I find it's the same way with planning your life. It's like you need that variety that change and speaking of variety i moved over to jaja a5 and could not be happier i mean i was ecstatic last well yesterday in hazel um but i've moved on over to jaja a5 and it was like i did a triple take and saw jaja sitting on my shelf and i was like um, obviously it's time to make a change. Now I'll tell you what really was hard was moving from Audrey because, and she's still sitting there tempting me daily. Audrey is that beautiful shell pink nude color that I just can't get enough of. And I'm about ready to dive back in, but I've got, I, I am also in love with so many others and <laughs> classic classy you you simply can't go wrong but this isn't why we're talking today we're talking today because I'm gonna flip you around and I'm gonna show you what I set up for May I did a bullet journal style now mind you for this month of May I got dot grid okay for my box no one else was able to do it just me because we are making a transition to where you can pick your inside pages for your subscription box. I could not be more thrilled, honestly. Um, and so I got it to check out for you guys and to work in for you because next month, actually, yeah, next month for May, you will be able to get in there in your account and create the change needed and for the first ever be able to get the inside pages dot grid lined or blank for your June box. And I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm completely thrilled. I'm completely thrilled. So, but for this month, I do have dot grid. I'm going to show you how I set mine up bullet style so I could be completely organized for the month. Now I realize that sometimes these bullet journalers, they do this kind of a thing. They go extravagant all out. I mean, a lot of work and it lasts them a year. Um, I can't even imagine what happens over the course of a year, quite frankly, with, I mean, I change my mind often, so I can't imagine going through that kind of intense work for um, a year because life can change very rapidly. And anyway, I did it for the month and I, you guys are going to freak. You're going to love it because certainly everyone can do something for a month. And you know what's great about having a month slot for bullet journaling and like creating um, new habits and routines, it like usually takes around that much time to be able to see. And then you can transfer it over, make it something new into your routines. And then next month, create new different things that you wanna habit track or do. And you know, everyone's gonna ha has different needs. So I'm gonna show you what I did for me to really just complement my monthly planner. And it filled up all 80 pages. Since you girls don't have your dot grid this month, you guys can even just watch me for this time or you can use a dot grid of mine that you might have. And then, but anyway, this will get you all prepped and all ready 
for you to begin if you want to in June with your dot grid journal so we could all do this together. So I just would really love your feedback, see what you think. And if anything, you girls could even just get a head start and get just a dot journal um, from my store and you know go for it and try it out and see what you think. So um, without further ado, girls, I'm gonna flip you around. I'm gonna show you what I got going on and let's go. Okay, let's go. This is um, pretty exciting to say the least. Um, got my Ollie clip. I gotta answer all the questions cause I'm gonna get them. Um, and then this is my Daisy charm. These will always be in stock because they're delicious. This is my artwork. So these are charms that are my artwork and they are no joke. They are the real deal. They are very heavy duty and they are outstanding quality. Um, they just really make it. And especially since it's my brand logo, it's just, who doesn't love a daisy? It's gorgeous. Um, again, this is Jaja A5. All new A5 drops are happening in spring. Everybody wants to know via email and all social platforms and DMs. I promise you they're coming. There has been a delay. I realize that. Um, and it really is not our fault. I really want to just share that right now. Well, anyways, um, they are coming. They just, there was a delay with our manufacturer, but they are on the way and I'm excited. We also have a new, we have two new limited colors coming, very limited quantity, and then they will be gone. And I cannot wait to show you. It's Olivia and Jordan. Those are coming. I know Olivia is on the site now. She'll be released at the end of April. So I can't wait to show you what's coming up and what's coming out. There's a lot. So I can't wait. So let's go ahead and just dive right in on some of the things I've done. I've made some changes. You'll see some of these things on my Ute, on my um, Amazon as well. So be staying tuned for that. Um, let's see. I These are my April tippins. So I do have some of them in here. I love putting books in here. If I ever wanted to pick out something, take out to journal. This is one of our journals in our um, store. So I just have it in here and it looks really gorgeous because it's so beautiful and floral. Got my little hippity hop guy. These I found on Amazon. I really, really love it because sometimes if I'm out and about and I really want my highlighter pen, um, I don't want to bring my whole planner accessory bag. Sometimes there's just a time and a place for everything. So I have something for every occasion. But like today, when I knew I was going to be sitting in an office for a little bit, um, waiting, I brought this and I got this on Amazon. You can find it in my link if you want to get it, but I just love it. You can just, it holds a pen so I can stick it right on my planner, my 2023 planner, whatever planner you want to use. And I just absolutely love it. It's just, it's, it's so that I'm like, oh, perfect. I just grab this and I swish, swish it on whatever I want to do. So I've got my 2023. This thing stays staple. It's a staple. I get it every year and I put the new year on her glasses. I call them glub glubs. Okay, these glasses, my daughter Madeline, when she was little, she couldn't say glasses. She called them glub glubs. Okay, and so the whole family in, and extended family, my mom, my dad, my sister, they, everyone calls glasses glub glubs now. You know how when your kids say stuff and it just, it's a new name? It's just what happens. My daughter Bella used to call water nga so we just call water nga It's just, it's crazy. But it's cute and I love it. So she's got 2023 in her glove gloves. And um, anyway, love the tabs. These are like these beautiful, like canvasy, leathery tabs. They're, they're gorgeous. And I got mine in very beautiful, neutral colors. I have sage and this cream and tan that you can find that on my Amazon. I think it might be under planning supplies. Um, so there's that. And I adore this because every single month I get over here and in between the pages of the month, I can get real detailed about some projects I want to do and I can forward plan. So that's what makes this just so vital to your everyday planning. And then you can make your transfers when you're dealing with the month at hand. Um, everyone's kind of asking about this one. I've transferred over to this one. This is Odd Girl Journals. You can find her on Etsy. Um, this is an A5 size. It's cute. And she could have even done this as credit card slots. That could be why she did that, which that's probably what she did. 
So yay her, because that's actually kind of a cute idea. So, but for someone who's, so if you think about it, you could be putting your credit cards in here. So that is really, really cute. So um, since I'm not using this as my wallet at all, I just stuck in some of my old, mind you, I think I have been saying this now for years, but whether they're going to be die cut stickers or just die cuts in general, I will bring back my die cuts. These are my die cuts from years ago. And I think I would make them into stickers is what I would do. Um, and I just, I can't wait. I want to do it so bad. So like, isn't that just adorable where they're just little die cuts and then my books, all watercolor. It's so cute. So this turned out to be so cute. Now this, I think I got this from Tool. Um, as well as a dandelion from my son. <laughs> Mom, I got you a dandelion. It's, it's such a beautiful flower. And I love it. The dandelion phase. I love it. So this was from Tool Brand. I kind of like it. They don't stick very well, but they, they get the job done. And it's like important, rescheduled, to-do list. Um, and then I have my May tippins in here. And then I've got like some tabs and I got some Jesus stickers. And then in here I put in some nude like tabs in case I want them. I just love, 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 love putting these in. I, they give girth a little bit, some bulkiness to the TN, which I adore. It's a beautiful print. It feels like um, she does, I know, a lot of like Trader Joe's bags, recyclable bags, and sews them. Adorable. I mean, I I really adore her stuff. I really, really do. Um, her, the, these kind of TN. They, look at it. And my stickers fit in perfect right here. So I'm digging it. So I also can't live without this. This is my meal mapping, honestly. It's, it's everything I have to do for my meal planning. And it's set up with um, a calendar and then you've got your one month of meals and I love how I utilize this is I'll do dinner ideas and I'll do baking ideas and snack ideas and lunch ideas and breakfast ideas so that's how I categorize it so like I feel like if I need to do a menu that I know that works that I know that my kids like I'll go to it and plan out my week just off of what I created here I tell you the one thing that stumps me the most with eating clean um, with kids is just lunch. Lunch kills me every time because, you know, I'm just, I'm going to stop there before I get into a rant. Um, but I plan on, um, slaying that in May. Okay. I'm going to tell you that right now. And maybe if you are interested in being, going along with me, I'll do a creative video on that. This of course is mine too. It's a cute little, I mean, just pops up. See that charm uh, paper clip. I love it. So that goes there. I've, here's my monthly planner. And then here I've already got my April book, my May journal in here because it had the dot grid. And I wanted to show you exactly what I was doing in it for the month of May. And I, I'm telling you, it takes me, it takes everything in me not to begin already diving in. But let's just go ahead and get started. So this is my little chickadee I did in watercolor. And this is in this month's for what well, you guys received it now from May's box. This is the May box journal. Um, live what you love. And this is one of my tip ins here. And I did an index page. Um, and again, dot grid, gotta love it. I really, really, really am in love with dot grid. So I did do the index pages and everything just flowed. I highly recommend, and I'm sure you already know this, but you're gonna wanna start off with a pencil. And a lot of my grid marks and everything just stayed in pencil. And then I'd come back around. I did a May calendar here. Just super quick and cute. How perfect is that? Birthdays and holidays right in the forefront. So in May, I've got three birthdays in my family. So what I did want first for my first pages are morning pages. Now, morning pages, if you know anything about morning pages, I've even done a video on it before. You need usually multi-pages. But that's just this I forget the actually the author's name. I'm going to forget. And you don't have to tell me because I have the book. So um, no biggie. But I will say that that's just one way that she has to be able to get creative. And that is to get everything out of your brain first. It doesn't, um, it doesn't matter what it is. Just to get it out of your head. And then the creative juices flow. But you know what I noticed when I plan 
on a blank sheet of paper. Same concept, actually, except I'm not truly, I brain dump all the time on my loose leaf. All the time. I'll brain dump everything I want to do for the week and then all of a sudden I get these creative ideas. But if you've been with me for a while, do you ever notice that when you're working in your daily planner and you're on that blank sheet and you're looking at it and you're like, you know what? I really, you just, your brain just begins to get ideas. Like you, you just can't help but be creative. You always feel like you're stumped until you sit down with the pen and you stare at and you stare at a blank page. I'm telling you, all you got to do is write down one thing, like one idea, and then they begin to multiply. Try it. So it's not like you have to go through billions of writings before your brain can go into creative mode. I think it all depends on the condition of your mind, quite honestly. And I think that we should be more diligent in a daily upkeep of the mind. And through prayer and through holding thought captives, we can definitely do that and not have to be in a situation where you got to wake up in the morning and you already have a mind full of crap. So you got to get that out first before you know, God can give you some downloads. And I I just feel as though if we do our due diligence with journaling, um, that's an an amazing way, especially if you're working in a relationship, if you're in a relationship and sometimes things go awry, you can write down how you're feeling there first and then go and finish up that conversation. Um, It's just little things like that. But my whole point is, how I wanted to use my morning pages, and as you can see, I've got six per two, two page here, is that I'm going to be just writing down the ideas for the day. Everything that I had dreamt about came to my mind, and what I'm thinking of, I'm going to put them here. And I just like, I, I, I'm madly in love with this idea, okay? Now, if I really feel like I have a lot in my mind, then I'm going to go grab my beautiful daisy spiral and I can go about that if I need to. But I feel like I have so many awesome systems in place that I don't find that something that I need. Like I'd rather be working in my devotions and um, talking to God and releasing these things first. And then I just feel like I'm already prepped and set. You know, like I've set myself up to hear from God through seeking the kingdom first. And, you know, like scripture says, it's one of my favorites, is seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of these things will be added unto you. And I always remember that when I wake up in the morning and I began like Googling something that's on my mind, I always think, you know, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of these things will be added unto you. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go to God first. I'm going to go to God first. So when we really remember to obey him, we actually get to see the blessings. Go figure. Um, So let's remember to do that first anyway. Let's write down what God says right here. Now, here I did it in um, pencil. And do let me know. And I think what I'm going to do anyways is do a guided do it with you. And I will do it with you next month for um, June. So when everyone gets their June box, so next month in the mid-May, we can do this together. So make sure you let me know this is something that you want me to do with you. And, um, we'll just, maybe we'll even do a live YouTube, prep our journal pages together. Um, so do let me know. So look at, I, I dated each page and I have Uh, every day to hold myself accountable to write down some ideas. And even if it was to love someone and make them some bread or to um, remember to do this for someone, or maybe I get this huge business idea, or maybe I get this new hobby I want to try or do something with my daughters. Maybe there's something I want to do with my son and I get this download. You're receptive. And when you sit here and you're receptive, you'll hear. That's the thing. So this puts you in receptive mode. Your planner puts you in receptive mode. When you have a planner that's like this and it's open, you're, re- you're in receptive mode. Do you get me? This is why this planning method is so vital 
to moving the needle in your life instead of living life in squares. It, it ain't going to happen. You ain't going to go anywhere very fast in terms of really reaching a place where you are living your very best life in every area and every facet of your life because you really need room you need room to grow you do you need room you need room you need room because you've got to apply the fuel to the desire and the fuel comes in writing it comes with detail and that's what this method supplies and gives you so I'm going to open up this blind a little bit, get some light. So um, let's go back. So I've got my morning pages. So each day, and then I even have some extras here. But it was, look at how much it ran right to the perfect place. So now it's gratitude. So it's kind of like, you know, you do your little thing there, then you work into your gratitude, write five or six things that you're grateful for each day. Love that as being a part, sets, again, sets you up for the day. Food tracker. Nothing is more important to me right now than this. This may not be that important to me later, but it is for me right now. And that's what I love about a monthly bullet journal. And um, I just absolutely love it. So every, it goes all the way up to the end of the month. And boy, am I stoked because I write food here, exactly what I ate because I'm very clean right now. And I'm actually doing green juices with a bunch of flax seed from omega threes. And you know, mind you, I've done a host of blood work on myself and I'm very low in omega three. So I do a half a cup of flax seed, not meal or anything, but seed. And then I do about six cups of greens, cruciferous um, especially. And then I do some water and uh, some fruit. Um, so, but it does taste like a green drink, but it, it's a little sweet. So it's definitely palatable anyways. And then I do celery juice and then I'm, then I will do one cooked meal at night or something, but I am staying more plant-based right now. Um, and so I, I want to write notes like how I'm feeling, what I'm doing and all the things. So this is so perfect and look at how perfect it is. So I'm going to keep on going. Look at that. How cute is this? Sorry. It's cute. And I'm in love. Recap of May for health. This is also important. I absolutely love it. Especially if you're seeing someone like I'm seeing a Nuka chiropractor, um, you know, and a functional medicine doctor. It's kind of those things like, you know, you are caring for your health. How do you feel? Do you feel like you're energized? How is all these things you've been working on? How has it, how has it helped by the end of these 30 days? Kind of a thing. So now I've got home routine tracker. Awesome. And again, this is, can be subject to change, especially during seasons, different seasons. But for me, for my home routine tracker, mind you, some of the swashi I have is very, very old, but I remember getting them at, I got them at Michael's, but like this little cute paperclip one. But I think it's like five, six years old. <laughs> so I don't know if it's still there, if you guys are wondering, but super cute. So I've got home routines and then check this out. Do you see how I have the days, the days up here and then there's the dates. And then you would just shade this in. So like, I really don't want to do it, but maybe I can. It's like if I made my bed, which guaranteed I will anyway. So you would do that. How cute is that? You know, see how this, this is my handy? Not even kidding. Okay. So that's what you would do. Now, I love this because it really holds you accountable to your plans and make bed, clean room, start laundry. This is my um, my son. We do this together. This is caring for our bearded dragon. Then we've got the upper level, all tidy end, um, the cat litter one time a month. So that would be every Friday that I do, every um, end of the month here. But then like this on Fridays for Uzi's cage. So then every Fridays would have that graph. There's the Friday right there. So it would just be, that would have the purple graph. So then I have the kids' chores. And so they do, they feed Uzi room clean laundry in the basket, 
feed Boots and feed Molly. One does one, one does the other, and then evening plan. My evening one for bottom, um, what is upper level, bottom level, but dishes out and in in the AM. I did this um, for my home routine. Dishes out and in, by the way. This is so this is AM and then this is also later AM and then main level tidy and then kitchen clean and laundry done. So by the end of the time, but by the time that I go to bed, I want everything done. Now what I did over here on the notes section is that I did AM more expounding, where I don't really graph it, but it's a routine. So like I've got so like these are some of my routines with chores. So this is more like what I do though in the morning. So I do devotions. I take my supplements, green smoothie. So to me, and I'm gonna, my main thing is gonna be green juice first here. What, it's iodine. And then, um, celery juice. Then I'll do, green smoothie and I'll just kind of have that with me up with my shower, kind of sip on that for a while. And then I've got, then I, then I come down, I feed my kids and I do my planner perfect business. So it, I, I need for them to give me like two hours in the morning to do all the different things I need to do. And then it's noon. And then this is when I am with the kids. So this is where I am, um, Let's see. So this is when I am doing stuff for the kids and we are doing learning and homeschooling and museums and all the different things that we do with our day um, for living and learning. Okay, so that's what this is where our afternoon is at. And then we have dinner. And then we did PM where it's clean up and the kids help me every night and then create. Um, I want to, I was noticing, and this is a great place to do it, but I was noticing how sometimes my kids and then we weren't really do. we were letting it slide and now I don't like it. So like I was noticing the kids getting up, you know, from the table, you know, John and I just began eating and they're already leaving and they're going outside and we were kind of letting it go sometimes and sometimes it's fine, but I want to create it more structured where they're actually more helping set the table. They don't eat until we sit down. So I wrote those kind of things down and this is the place to do it. I mean, this is all about intentional living. It's kind of tweaking some things, thinking things through and how you, it's envisioning your life and how you see and what you want to teach your children and things like that. So, and I want my boys to definitely they're not leaving until they help me clean um their future wives will definitely um be grateful and then <clears throat> all the the i love the the house tidy before we go to bed and they can help me do that too okay so then we have health habit tracker completely game changer i'm already in love and i haven't even done it yet so i actually need to erase some of the pencil because I did it all in pencil first, but these are healthy habits and these are definitely the things and we, I did a video and if you haven't seen it yet, click on the card up above. You can watch that later. Okay. Don't click away yet. This is too good. But I talked about the healthy habits I've been doing. And so what I want to do though, is I want to log this. And that way, when I go to see the changes that it's made, I can kind of hold myself accountable, see where I maybe have slipped up when I didn't do it, whatever, you know. So I've got iodine and then my green smoothie, sunrise sun, cold shower, grounding for 30 minutes, no sunglasses when I'm outside, being cautious of the EMF exposure, plant, uh, blue blockers, raw plant-based for right now. Um, I may do an occasional cooked sweet potato. Um, sleep eight hours, no caffeine. Um, I've been off of it for over a month and I don't think I'll ever go back to caffeine. I feel too fantastic without it. I feel like I'm dragging when I'm on caffeine. And again, you don't even, when you live a certain way for so long, you don't even know that how you're living is abnormal and your quality of life could be so much better. But when you take out caffeine, well, for me anyways, when I took it out, I feel like I could go I crash at night so great, my sleep is great, and I never have a dip in the afternoon, and I never drag. I feel fantastic all day. So I just, I won't go back. When I had caffeine, I would drag it too, and I was like, couldn't keep my eyes open, it was horrible. Exercise, walk, 30 minutes at least. I would love to work that up to an hour. 
dry brushing, dinner roll. I've got to lay on my neck two times a day. And then celery juice one time a day, 32 ounce. So, and then I will, of course, graph this in. Same concept with the days of the, the, days of the week and then the dates. And then of these notes, these are going to be vital to take some notes, especially with the order of things, because I would do iodine and then I would do celery first. So right when I wake up, I would and then make and then I would do my devotions with those. I would kind of down a good, a nice tall glass of water with iodine, and then I will make the celery juice, and I'll just kind of sip on that through my devotions. And then, you know, I would go outside, and then maybe even go on back patio when weather permits. to get sunrise sun. So my, I don't wanna be looking at my phone when I wake up. I wanna be getting my eyes on natural light. So that way my circadian rhythm can be regulated and that's how it gets regulated. It gets really jacked when you start just cell phone, cell phone, cell phone. You don't even go outside till maybe three in the afternoon. I mean, you wanna, you wanna really get that. You just wanna start living the way God intended and that's, I know that's my intentions these days. Um, so, and it's funny because my kids always do what I do. So, you know, usually they'll wake up and they'll run outside with me, you know, and so I'm happy about that. And then if I can, and, and what might be kind of nice too, is it's kind of private. We live on a couple acres. We could, I could just even get my grounding in after that. Um, with the boys before my shower. So, I'm loving this already and I can add to this, but I wanna keep going and get you through this. Okay, so here we've got scripture memorization. Again, stoked. Okay, because I am not very good at this sometimes. Now, I have a lot of scriptures that I do have by memory but there's more that I wanna know. And I wanna know exactly where I can find it. Like I could quote scripture after scripture after scripture sometimes, but I don't, I don't remember the exact reference point of where it is in the, script, in, in the Bible. So this time I'm gonna do it. And also what I wanna do is memorize Psalm 91. That is something that Psalm 91 is golden. And when you sow a seed of God's word and it is in your heart and you renew your mind to that and it's solid, then that is where God's protection comes into play. And you are knowing, you're understanding, you've sown it in your heart and fear is no longer there and it always goes to it. So like it will replace fear. It replaces, um, you know, insecurities and, um, it is just Psalm 91 and I'm going to break it up and I'm going to sow that in May. I don't care if that's all of May, Psalm 91. It's a long one and I want to get it completely memorized. Who's with me? Raise your hand. Um, let's sow the seed of Psalm 91 in May. So I'm actually going to even just... And what I want to do is put a section of it here and just memorize that. Now, see, I didn't put dates on here because I didn't want to stress me out. Now, how far does this go? I've got quite a bit. So we could really break up and then even do more. But it's a long one. Not kidding. So let's, I mean, this is going to be good to sow a seed on for sure. As well as even just the commandments and his bless and, and God's blessings. So, um, more on that in, a, in another time here. Then I've got kids health tracker. Now I've got kids that ha are all kids. I don't care if my kids had anything that they were working on, um, their health matters. So, but for what I'm doing specifically for mine, 
Um, and I even have notes on that on maybe when, how often I want. Now, you know, when you have teen boys, I tend to wave the white flag a lot and I, I am just not going to. And so I pop, okay, li of the limitations I have, candy, Doritos. I'm telling you, if my 15 year old picks up a bag of Doritos in front of my face, even one more time, I'm telling you, they're so bad for you yet so good okay and he always wants to grab for those and i just don't want that kind of temptation but i was like okay when we go camping he can i mean but why though you know i just i i i want to switch him over but he's not into it he actually mocks what i do <laughs> so he's gonna be one of those he's like mom when i move out i'm gonna have a cooler full of gatorade um, and then I'm going to have little Debbie snacks. I go, you've never even had a little Debbie snack. He's like, I know, but I'm going to start. And then I'm going to have a, a whole thing full of Doritos. And, you know, I'm like, wow. Hi, my 900 pound life. Rethink that, son. Okay, so anyway, these are my notes of, of just things of my intentions for them. But here I've got greens, probiotics, um, multivitamins, fruit, um, the no wheat vegetables, I want to make sure that they get that every day, especially greens, one time a day. So they usually love my salads with my olive oil and vinegar, and I want to make sure when I do that, that they're loaded up. Um, exercise, that's going to be easy because they're already starting to get outside now that it's nice out, but it'll be nice to track that and see how they do. Two hours screen time because they sometimes like to play games and stuff like that, but I... What I am kind of excited for is that they are creating a YouTube channel for themselves. I think that's, they have a lot of fun together, my 10-year-old my and my 15-year-old. Okay, so then learning, grounding, they can do that. I'll, I'll just make them kick off their shoes, um, get them out in the sun with me in the morning and the evening. Blue blockers, I bought them blue blockers for their eyes. Prayer time, reading, and Bible. So we, And we will track that. Again, same kind of concept. Cute, 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 cute. Okay, so then we have our homeschool tracker. So to me, we're unschoolers, but we this is such a great way to write down our ideas of what we want to do. And I am just so thrilled. So like, you know, this uh, prehistoric kind of museum that I wanted to go take them to. Um, so something like that. I'm just giving you an idea of what we would do, like this whole museum we would do and what we could do within the museum so not just kind of walk around but take every opportunity to learn so like sometimes we, especially when we go to the zoo like nature journaling um I like to then to bring journals and teach them to draw I mean I've done that with all my kids before where I would have them bring notepads and we would sit down near the light jungle or um the cat's cage and we would draw the animals well, that's what we're going to do too. So it's kind of like zoo day, bring your nature journals. Um, and then we're going to learn about the animals and then we can go home and we can learn them. We would even go see movies like Ice Age and then come home and learn about the Ice Age. So every opportunity, their life presents an opportunity for learning at every angle. And so I, that's what I'm always looking for. And the kids love it and they naturally are interested because it doesn't look like they're learning and so then they're receptive and so I take it I take that and they do too so we love it so that's the kind of stuff I'm going to be doing here and then we'll take some notes so like go to the zoo and I could say over here everyone bring their nature journals um you know or go to the movies study about such and such afterwards you know what I mean cool loving it loving it loving it loving it so that goes every single day excited about this so excited about this. Um, and I've unschooled all of my children. So this is just right up my alley and kind of how I've always done it. Um, except I would just either write it in my own, in my own daily planner like this, or I would do it in, um, I also have done it in separate books. I have a video on that too. And I actually love doing it that way too. But this I'm really digging. It's just right in my same planner and it's just easy love it um and so then home and hobby supplies so this kind of keeps me for the whole month what i'm kind of looking for or what i want to buy so i've got birthdays i've got stuff to buy um molly uh the bark box so what i want to maybe get for molly what she might need our dog 
Um, I got this darling box she gets every month. She gets toys in it. Oh, it's so cute. Can't handle it. Nebraska Furniture Mart was kind of looking for other furniture for other parts of our house on the back outside. Barnes & Noble, what books we're getting. So we love to go to Barnes & Noble, the bookstore, and we will go. My kids just picked up one, one boy got Flash, and I got Warrior. I started that series, and I'm sorry, I'm reading to Blaine. But I love this kind of fun stuff. And so, like, okay, what are we going to go back and go do next? Um, so I got birthdays and gift ideas here. Michael's, what I'm looking for. Target, Amazon, Pottery Barn, Costco. And this is the place where I can write all down. And then when the time comes, when you're in your planner, you're like, you know what? This is the day. This is totally the day. I'm going to get in here and we're going to go. This is, and we're going to go run to Target and go get that. You know, because it's just, it's all, it's like a brain dumping. It's digging it. May trips and adventures. We're already planning on some of the, uh, a camping trip end of May. So I was kind of thinking of all these different um, different other ideas that maybe we could go do adventures with. And then I would do pictures, imagery, even paint on this if I wanted to, uh, to document it. So these are the ideas and this is the documentation of what we would do. And it's just for that month. So it's just little things and it'll be lots of fun. But our first camping trip will be end of May or early June. So um, either way, these are the ideas and that'll be the documentation. So super fun. Recipes. I thought I would do recipes here, uh, vegan and whole food and recipes that we love this month. So that could get a little repetitive when I've got my thing over here. But what I might do is these are what I'm, it's not repetitive in the sense that these are going to be the actual recipes. So I'm always creating recipes um, and adapting recipes. So this is where all the recipes would be. And then I would just over here, this is the menu. So these are the menus. And then these are some of the recipes for the month that we absolutely adore. So that's, you know, like, oh, this vegetable and bean soup. I'm going to write down exactly how I made it. Not to mention, I, um, I'm getting my blog updated both my blogs and I'm excited because I want to start lighting a fire under those two things again so um I could that way I can get my recipes up on my food blog again yay 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 so anyway this is where I create my recipes for the month and I love doing it I mean just the other day I made my homemade bread and I took the dough and this is not for me because I'm staying away from gluten but I I made a pita a nan bread out of it, not a pita, but a nan bread. And I made my husband the most amazing nan sandwich that you've ever seen. He flipped out, did backflips. So it's those kind of things, just writing that down, like, okay, he loved it, writing that down, how, exactly how I did it. Okay, and then journaling. So this would be just journaling for May, and it's a recap. It's just writing out longhand how exactly my month of May went, what I would change, what has improved, what didn't improve? How do I want to grow? What do I want to carry the baton to in June? It's those kind of things. And look, and it goes all the way to the end. I'm telling you, what a beautiful, beautiful bullet journal, if I do say so myself. I think it turned out so amazing. Now, I know all of you are not, can't do exactly what I'm doing, but get, get your thinking caps on and think about how you want to maybe do this if you're willing to join in on me. Now, I will say that it took me probably two hours to do this, um, but all I had to do was first write out my topics and then I divided by the 80 pages and Shazami, I knew how to split them up. And then even after that, I just adjusted because not everything is equal in the pages. It's just easy to adjust, it just is. And even with this, I don't use rulers because I don't care, um, but you don't really have to. So I mean, I just, when you start getting your words in there, you really don't need to. But I mean, look at it, it looks pretty dang straight to me because you've got the dot grid as your guide. So, and then I'm kind of right now, till I get my notepad, you know, I have to get my own notepads, you know, <laughs> I don't have them here, but I like, kind of like this, used a little Ollie clip, stuck that back here, and so it just kind of sits back here all perfect, but girls, there she has it. I've got my highlighter that I use, which I'll be using for my, um, in my bullet journal, you know, and so it's just handy and it's on my planner. It could have been shoved in here somewhere, but why do that when it's like completely stuck in there and won't fall? So 
so it's I'm sorry I'm in love with my setup and I'm freaking out there she is let me know your comments tell me if you want to be a part of bullet journaling this year this summer let's do it together let's hold each other accountable let's do let me know what you think about even sowing a seed of Psalm 91 together let's open up the conversation bye girls